Welcome back, 17 on set. New guidelines are out this week saying women over the age of 30 can opt to get an HPV test every five years or a pap test every three years or a combination of both tests every five years. So it's a little bit confusing. I know most women, many women out there, still go and get the yearly checkup with their OBGYN and that ends up in a uh, yearly pap um, test. So the question is, with all of these different recommendations out there, how often do we really need to be tested? Dr. Luis Mariscal from Adventist Health joining us this morning uh, with more on the topic. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. So break this down. It's very confusing. So it is very confusing and there are several guidelines out there. This new guideline update has come from the U.S. Preventive Task Force. There's other guidelines by other bodies. So basically, essentially no, nobody needs to be having a pap smear every year. Mm -hmm. um, the current recommendation that almost everyone agrees on is from the ages of 21 to 30 every three years unless you have abnormal findings in which case a, a, a quicker mm -hmm. follow-up is going to be required. HPV DNA is a new test that we uh, now recommend for women over 30. It's not as helpful for women under 30 because a lot of times they'll have an abnormal value mm -hmm. on that test but it just kind of confuses things because it doesn't necessarily mean that they are, are on their way to cancer. Um, so, but there is a lot of confusion and basically the take home is women under 30 starting at age 21 get checked every three years with a pap smear. Women over 30, there's several options. Probably the best option would be have a pap smear and an HPV test every five years. If you want to have a, a pap smear every three, you could do that. Mm -hmm. This new recommendation says you could just do the HPV test every five. But there's not necessarily a consensus uh, that that is an adequate um, test alone. So, and is that test different than, done differently than a pap smear? Are they done like it's at done the same at the time? same time? It's okay. a new test looking. Basically, almost all cervical cancer is caused by a virus called HPV. It's a sexually transmitted disease, but almost everyone's at one point in their life uh, exposed to it, and this can then lead to cancer of the cervix as well as other cancers, we now vaccinate uh, mm -hmm. or try to vaccinate kids and young adults for this. Although in the U.S. we're still only vaccinating about half of uh, adolescents and young adults, so we're really still not where we need to be. But we could essentially almost eradicate cervical cancer if everyone got vaccinated because almost all of it is caused by uh, HPV. Wow. So, but since we aren't vaccinating everyone. And, there, and then also are, just started, I mean, like people like myself, right. you know, right. were younger and there was no vaccine around. Right, so the vaccine is relatively new and when it first came out, we were literally vaccinating maybe 10% of the okay. kids that we should have been. So now we're up to 50%, which is, you know, every year it's Good actually progress. getting better, but we're still not vaccinating 50% of adolescents and young adults. So, you know, still a ways to go. And so women do need to be screened. Even if you've been vaccinated, you need to be screened. Okay. It doesn't absolutely guarantee that you won't develop cervical mm -hmm. cancer, but it definitely greatly reduces the risk. So, but take home would be essentially women over 30, if you haven't had any abnormal uh, tests in, in the recent history, co-testing is probably going to be the best doing okay. a HPV test along with a pap smear every five. Every five, um, okay. Do we still need to go see our gynecologist every year then for that yearly checkup that we're so used to? Honestly, no, okay. uh, unless, unless you're you having problem. some problem or, or, you know, some symptom or uh, wow. that is concerning you. So under 30 every three years, over 30 every five years. Right. Unless you have an abnormal test, in which case okay. you'll need a quicker follow-up. All right, Dr. Luis Mariscal, thanks for simplifying that sure. for us. I appreciate it. No problem. We'll be right back so. after this.